Hi, this is Heidi Cooper of TorahFamilyLiving.com. I want to share with you today uh, my very simple flatbread recipe that I use for Feast of Unleavened Bread. And it starts with four cups of flour. You can use white or wheat or a combination. Uh, I've done both. And you put that in your bowl. I try to, you know, sift it out a little bit so that it's not clumpy. You're going to want two teaspoons of salt. <clears throat> One and a half cups of water. And two tablespoons of oil. I've used different kinds of oils through the years. Coconut oil works, olive oil works. Here I'm using peanut oil because it's what was handy. It's just two tablespoons of oil. And then you're going to want to mix this up. I do this by hand. Uh, it's not a big batch. So you want to just get it together into a somewhat of a solid lump. <laughs> and then we'll knead it a little bit in a few minutes here. See, as you mix, it'll start sticking together, and that's what you're looking for, to try to get it into one actual lump. Then you'll be able to pull it out of the bowl to knead it together more. See how it's starting to pull together. Okay, now I've got it out on a cutting board and I'll finish kneading it like you would a normal bread dough just to make it a nice smooth dough. Now I've got my first my first ball of dough because I made a double batch here and they came out slightly different consistency. This one ended up a little stickier so I did take the time to add just a little bit of flour there. It wasn't much but just enough so that it wasn't quite as sticky. You want it to be soft but not real, not real firm and too dry, so you need to be careful about adding flour. See how it's smoothing out there as we go. We're just about there. 
See, now it looks like a nice, nice neat ball. Now we're obviously not going to let these rise at all because this is flatbread. So we're gonna go right into getting them ready to cook. And what I do is I divide them up with a food, food scraper. If you want bigger flatbread, you're gonna divide this into about 16 pieces. For my purposes today, uh, we took them to our Seder and we wanted little ones, so I'm going to divide each one into 32 pieces to make little flatbreads. So we just start cutting in half, cutting in half until we get down to 32. Which is why I love using the food scraper. It makes it so easy to cut your dough into little pieces. I had to keep recounting to make sure I'm getting down to the right amount. Because uh, when you cut it into 32, they are going to be surprisingly small at first, um, but that'll that'll be okay. It'll all work out in the end. Okay, so that's that's our finished size there. So I'll finish cutting these. And I don't worry about them being exactly matching. The flatbread isn't all the same size, but it's okay. Okay, then what you want to do is roll them into little balls. You do, I do that, you see how you do it in my hand? Just roll it into nice little balls. And I like to get these all ready ahead of time so that when I start cooking it moves really fast. And you can see they're, they're not all the same size but it's no big deal. Okay, next we're going to press our flatbread. This is a tortilla press. I used a, an old tortilla bag there. You're gonna press them, and then I've got a flat cast iron griddle that I use, and when you make little ones, I can actually fit four at a time. If I make a batch of 16, it's one at a time, so it actually, it actually cooks slower. <laughs> so I actually have a dry pan. I don't use oil usually to cook these. And it takes a bit to get your pan to the, to the right temperature so that it's cooking, but not just burning them right out of the gate. You have to kind of play with it uh, as you go. The, the dough is going to bubble up a tiny bit. If you look closely, you can see that starting on a couple of them. It starts to poof up a little, and then you know that it's, it's cooking properly. And you're going to want it to look brown on the other side. It, they're starting, but they're not quite there yet. Okay, now you can see how the this pan is good and hot. The first batch, the pan wasn't quite hot enough yet. Uh, now we're getting better. And what I do is I've got the press close by and I grab a ball, I press it, I bring it over to the pan, and I actually place them uh, clockwise as I'm going around just so I can keep track of what I'm doing. Let's see. And they're all going to, it's, it's a fast cook. So even though I've got a little bit of delay here with having to press each ball and put it on, um, they, they still cook pretty close to the same amount of time. But again, since I know I start at, the, start at one spot and go clockwise, I, I take them off in the same order. So they've all had enough cooking time. So you're watching, they are gonna start bubbling up a little bit. And I'd say it takes maybe a <laughs> puppy, <laughs> maybe a minute and a half, uh, two minutes. Okay, there you see, you can see what the other side should look like. It's gonna have the brown spots like you'd see on a tortilla. 
And then the other side always seems to go a little quicker than the first side. So you want to keep an eye on them. See, that second side is much faster. See, look at that. That looks beautiful. Those are ready to go. And those are good too, see? Even though there's a bit of a delay, they always seem to finish up about the same time. And I did keep adjusting my temp, so you end up, once you get the pan hot enough initially, you're gonna end up uh, medium to medium low on however however yours is set up on the, the temperatures for your for your stove and you'll get a feel for it you know you want want those nice brown spots and you don't want it to look like dough anymore obviously but you'll get a feel for it it's hard to give you uh, an exact cooking time because you know every stove's going to be a bit different it's better to go by by looks there see nice brown spots that's what you're looking for and you can use these just to go with your meals during uh, during unleavened bread we have used them somewhat successfully for sandwiches and burger buns and that type of thing um, you can make little mini pizzas all kinds of stuff and there's a there's a whole bunch already cooked uh, we took them to our Seder. Great hit. All right, thanks for watching.